Hi, right, hey everybody, this is Levi here from the Best Cut Boy, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Star Sword. If you remember it from last time, uh, we went and got the windmill propeller, and so now let's just keep going. If you need me, Clang, feel free to call. The Mistress Fia will travel to any destination. She obviously, or he obviously thinks she's hot. Whoa, isn't that the beat up old robot from Gondo's place? Wait just a second. Is that? It is, that's the windmill propeller. That thing was supposed to have fallen down below the clouds. Are you saying that whole story handed down through Gondo's family is actually true? Hmm, somehow I get the feeling that this is all some elaborate point, but I guess I'll try and fix the thing. This goes in here and I just crank that a few clicks. Phew. That ought to do it. If you can find some way to swim the propeller, you can probably turn the window around. Hey! Honey, honey! Oh no, I just remembered I'm supposed to be looking for Kukula. Catch you later, Link. If you haven't seen Kukula, let me know, alright? Alright, well, let's go ahead and turn this one now. With our gust bellows. And yep. Chicka 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 chicka. And just keep spinning it until it goes right onto that one mill. Anyway, just waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting, waiting, waiting. And I'm gonna slow down here just to make sure that I don't go too far. Maybe that's about right. Yep, there we go. What the fudge? Holy crud. Okay, well, that's nice. Uh, since we're right next to the graveyard, let's go look there. The Kukuro. Kukuro. Whatever it was. Um. Yeah, they said she. Or the guy said he saw him next to the graveyard. I wonder if he, he's here somewhere. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, well, let's just go. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna ruin this game otherwise. Just go to that lighthouse. Oh, don't worry. Let's go this way. I like that Link can swim. That's pretty cool. He has like a swim meter. And I thought in every game, either Link, some games Link can swim, other games Link drowns. It's a different Link, so. Link is Link, though. And that's what's important, right? 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 Alright, this is getting big. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Um, I'm just going out on the lane assuming you gotta play the heart. Alright, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, read this. Let's see what this says. Let's sound the goddess song to make the lights radiant. Um. Alright. Oh, maybe I need to be under the light. Who's what? Oh, here's the light. Yep, that's pretty much the light. Sorry guys. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Alright, let's go back over here. Oh, yeah, right here. There we go. We just had to stand on that thing. And there we go.
Master, there is a high probability that this beam of light will lead us to clues as to the whereabouts of the three flames. I recommend that you investigate what lies ahead at this beam of light. Wow, that's really freaking epic, you guys. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. Alright, um. Guys, I think we're gonna have to take a break from the action here. Um, I wanna see if there's a way that we can figure out if we can find Kirkery, but I kinda just wanna keep the action going. Um, let's see. Um, we still haven't gotten. Uh, that, like, bizarre. Or, I mean, that treasure chest, but we don't know how yet. Alright, well, let's just, let's just write our last thing. And, yeah, sorry if later on it just becomes less story and a lot of side quests. I apologize. Um, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and head towards the beam of light. Man, I keep having these random awkward silences. Sorry about that, you guys. Ooh, let's let's fly right in the beam of light. Oh, it's right on us. Come on, right in the camera, right in the camera, right in the camera. Oh, oh that was pretty bright. And then as soon as I was gonna do it, there's one of those twenty days dust devil, whatever you wanna call it. Let's go into the light. You can see a light at the end of the tunnel, you guys. Inside the Thunderhead. Whoa, let's check out our map. Hey, there's a goddess cube in there. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Um, apparently there's actually a lot of stuff inside of here that we must not have known about. Um, yeah. Alright, that. Okay, what is that? Um, let's just go in this light. I'm assuming that's what we're supposed to do. I'm not sure if those birds are good guys or bad guys, and I'm not sure if that's like a rainbow or what. Yeah, anyway. Why would you want to slow down? Be slow down. I never knew that. I don't even have an option to do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say this is where we're supposed to be going. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and dive down. Right. Master Link, I have memories of this island. It is known as the Isle of Songs. Signs indicate that it was left here for you by the Goddess Master. However, I am unable to determine meanings of entering and structure ahead. I suggest you investigate the area. Okay, well, let's read this. Rotate the center to complete the bridge that allows you to step on the Great Tower of the Isle of Sounds. Okay. How do I push it? From the other side? Oh, no. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, is that the island over there? I want. I don't get it. Oh, I'm just hit that next. I need that. Oh, so we're, it's like a giant puzzle. Okay, I get it. Okay, but then you need to hit this. In that way, or, I mean, the top one, but that goes, and then let's see what that goes. Yeah, that only moves these two, see? So, so that one stays in place, and you move these two. Yeah, there we go. And now, Strike it from this side. Yeah. It makes the third one move 
Oops, not that. That's not what I want to do. Well, I guess I can just push this thing all the way around. Wait a second. Oh, I get it. I have to get all of these three things in line. Okay. Alright, well, let's hit now this one. So, yeah, those two come in a line. Okay, this is confusing, you guys. It, like, makes sense, but it's confusing. That's, like, a complete opposite line. Alright, I got that now. Now, how long do I want to hit this? That will make... If I do that, wait a second. No, that might be what I wanted to do. Except first I want to hit this way. Wait, hit that way. And then push in one more. Guys, sorry if this doesn't make sense. I don't even know if I'm doing this the right way. But I have a feeling that this is the right way to do it. Yeah. Alright, there we go. And then... Wait, not that. And then keep pushing it. So that that thing goes around. The third one. Because, see how the blocks stop it? I hope this is making sense. Alright, um... And then... No, I don't want that. I want that, I think. Is that what I want? I think this is what I want. Yeah, I think this is what I want. And then... Do I want the top? No, I want the side. Not sure which side, but one of the sides. Because, wait, that'll make it so that the inside one... No, because then the inside stops over, so then it's that side. No? Is it? This is so confusing, you guys. Um... Hmm. This is confusing as heck. Alright, you know, I'm gonna try this and then we'll have to align. Yeah, we'll have to align. And then, yeah, because this one's the middle. So let me do that. Make sure that that one's going. Yes, 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 yes. And then, there we go. I knew it. I knew it this whole time. Oops. What did say? That's actually a good puzzle. Whoever came up with this at Nintendo Studios of like America or whatever. But now we go all we just gotta keep going and make sure that none of them get blocked. Sorry. This is a confusing puzzle. It's pretty cool though. Like, I like the way it was designed. Then we gotta make sure that there's nothing in the way of these two. Or these three. Yeah, make sure they're all on this, that side of it. So now we can all just be put, yeah, in line. Oh my gosh, I'm so smart. Look at that. Look at how smart Levi is. Alright, well, let's go inside. It looks like we're gonna have to crawl inside. Yep. Well, let's see. Let's set your save. Okay, well, let's go inside. It looks like Skyward Strike is what we're gonna need. Oops. Oh my gosh, that was. There we go. Master Link, I have important information. When you struck the crest with the scarred strike from your shore, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I guide you from my place at the edge of time. 
The sacred flames are three in number. To obtain them, you must also earn relics known as the three sacred gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with one of the gifts. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you will find your way to purifying the sacred flames. Now I bestow unto you a melody. I will serve it. I will serve you as a key, opening the first trial that awaits you deep in the wilds of barren woods. That song is called Forney's Courage. It is rousing melody will guide you. You are Faradod's Courage. Master, you must overcome the trials set before you to and attain the three gifts to reach the sacred flame. I have committed Farad's Courage to memory. Do not use your dowsing blood to search for the gate leading to the first trial you must face. I suggest you set out for Farad as soon as you're ready. Go ahead then, and come on outside here. Let's go ahead and bounce. So you gotta go that way, which is outside. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump off of here. And it looks like we have a goddess, or a treasure, yeah, thing on the Isle of Songs, but I'm not sure where, so well, let's figure out, let's see if we can get it. Isle of Songs, there's Christmas, go to treasure. Oh, is that it down there? Could it be down here? Let's see if I pass through that. Yeah, we're going right for it. Oh, is that it right there? I see it. Yep, there it is. You got a gold rupee. It's worth a staggering 300 rupees. Shh, don't tell anyone. Cool beans. So we just got like crap a lot of money. Um, let's go ahead and leave this space. And yeah. Let's go on out of here. Yeah, I don't really know what to talk about right now. Um, yeah. I've played this game for, like, way too long today. I've been playing it for, like, almost four hours now. So I think this is gonna have to be the end of it for today for me. I'm just figured out some pretty important and awesome stuff. And so now let's go back out to the mirror. I find this bird flying stuff a lot like if you guys have ever played The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, you know how annoying sometimes it can be to sail the places that are all the way across the map. But, um, yeah, I find it a lot like that, um, this bird flying stuff. Which in a way can be not good because it's really annoying at times. But then again, um, at other times it's just relaxing. It's peaceful. It's not all that bad. And, yeah. So let's go ahead and come on down here. Dive in I think we're gonna have to visit Vito's air shop place too. Because, well, long story short, we've got um, like 300 rupees just now. So yeah. Let's see. I bet it's gonna douse, yep, in that green spot. It'll actually douse for you. Um, Let's go ahead and look for Beetle, where is he? He's right behind me. Oh, I don't... Same shot. 
Oh my gosh, how did I miss? Alright, here we go. Let's get in here. This is gonna be pretty much the end of the episode, you guys. Um, yeah. Grab. I don't see why it won't let you grab it when it's like close to the ground and then it goes farther up and then you can grab it. It's like, it just doesn't make sense. Yep. I'm tired. Wait, let's see, how much is this heart metal? It's a life metal. Okay. Anyway. No thanks. I don't have enough. Let's go ahead and see if we can buy this. Yeah, I don't have that much. I'd think hard about whether I need it. Okay, yeah, I don't think I have anything else. The bug metal's a lot too, I think. Um. No thanks. Well, I don't have enough. I actually would was thinking about buying that heart metal. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, this is so annoying. Yeah, he leaves. Yeah, okay. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I'll see you next time. Um, yeah. So, see you later, everybody. And peace.